All right, here, uh, we are still waiting this uh, White House briefing. I know what you're thinking. Neil, you're lying. There is no White House briefing. Is too. When, when he comes there, we're going to go there. But Hadley Heath Manning of the Independent Women's Forum is here. Hadley, you know what? Among the subjects that are going to come up, no doubt, the tax cut and, and uh, whether the votes are there to get it done and when it, to get it done. And um, do you think they are? A, a, a wide divergence of opinion here. Uh, but what do you think? Well, let's hope so, because tax cuts represent one way that the government can get smaller. We can all also hope that Republicans and Democrats alike will address regulations, spending, debts and deficits. They don't all have to be addressed at the same time, however. And President Trump, nearing the end of his first 100 days, should use this press briefing not just to talk about the tax plan and the health care plan, for which there'll be plenty of questions, but also to highlight the accomplishments of his first 100 days, many of which have been regulatory changes within the Oval Office. So there's a lot to talk about here when it comes to economic policy. And if they secure a health care deal or a rework, certainly, uh, I don't know, it might be optimistic by Saturday, but um, then they could say we're, we're finishing out these 100 days with a flurry. I don't know what will go on. But I have heard that, that, that you know, that health care thing is important if you want to find a way to, to get a better baseline, a trillion dollar improvement baseline for the, for the cuts. And then I've been talking to a number of Republicans, including on this show, who said, yeah, we're, 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 we're not going to exactly not find a way to pay for a lot of this, not exclusively all of this. How important is that to the folks you talk to, that, that, that a good chunk of this be paid for? Well, it, it should be paid for, but, you know, doing it all at one time isn't necessarily something that, that needs to come through this week. When it comes to health care and tax reform, these are promises that not just President Trump made, but Republicans have been making on the campaign trail for years, for cycle after cycle. And the latest iteration of the health care deal includes an amendment that would allow states to opt out of some of the regulatory burden of Obamacare, specifically some of the requirements that every health policy cover those so-called essential health benefits. In English, this means that people in those states might be free to buy policies that fit their individual needs and the needs of their, their family and their budget. So this would be a move in the right direction in terms of, of freedom for consumers. Uh, and it's really a deal that, you know, many Republicans on the mo more moderate side might be concerned about, you know, coverage for people with pre-existing conditions, for example, and there are high-risk pools that will be required in states that opt out of the regulations. Um, and but significantly this is, this is more bargain. expensive this, this pools, right? Significantly compromise. more expensive pools that some of those moderates resent. Right. I mean, uh, we don't know the details. You're quite right. But, but I, I can imagine the, the, the numbers you gain from that Freedom Caucus conservative, uh, a few peel off on the moderate side or, or, or my, what do you think? Well, it's a balancing act, but the compromise here ultimately is that states can decide. Right. And so Republicans right. in Congress should be allowing their leaders gotcha. at the state level to make that All decision. All right, Hattie, let's go to Sean Spicer now.